No, um, well, yeah, I was doing it, but I didn't know what it was. I, when I did porn, I mean, I, like I said, I never watched porn. I really didn't, I had sex, but I wasn't as advanced. So, you know, when I first got in, I had a really, really good agent, and it was this paper, and it had a whole list of things that, do you, will you do this? Do you do this? Will you do this? And it, and I came to squirting, and I couldn't check it because I didn't know what it was. So anything that I didn't know what it was, he made me watch a movie, and he would point it out. Well, this is what this is. This is what this is. Mm -hmm. And we came to squirting, and I was like, oh, I don't know what this is. He showed me a movie, and I'm like, oh my God, I can do that. And he's like, girl, you're gonna make so much more money. And he was right. <laughs> and that's all. I can do it at will, but I prefer to just really try to focus and have an orgasm off of it. It makes it a lot stronger. So, okay, so the squirting is an orgasm? Yes. Kind of side effect? Mm -hmm. Sort of? Yes, it's a really big orgasm. <laughs> um, I personally, I mean, I, I'm not a, you know, a sex spurt or anything like that, but I personally don't think that all women can do it. Um, so I guess it's a cool little neat trick to have just because all women can't do it. But I know for the mo for the most part, I know women that can but can't control it or don't know how to do it again. Uh -huh. That's the trick. Because I was doing movies, I had to learn. I had to figure out what would make me squirt and how to do it. Because if someone's paying you more than a thousand dollars to squirt on set, you better know how to squirt. <laughs> if they're say, you know, Stacy, I'm gonna book you for a squirt movie. Okay, well then I need to be able to squirt because if I'm not, you just you're paying me for something I'm not doing. So yeah. And, and what's what's? Um, well, I like this really powerful toy called a Hitachi, and it just makes you go like it just just let it out. That's the best thing for me. I don't know. I mean, usually um, clitoral stimulation is usually what really draws it for me, but that's what does it. No, you know what? Sexually, no. I mean, I'll have fun with girls, you know, maybe, you know, go out and fill on them and stuff like that. Maybe even bring them home every now and then. But for the most part, I just do it for the fun. You know, it it's more of a control. I like to be in control. So it's more of like a dom type of thing. Like, I, I like it if I'm in control. If I'm like, yeah, bitch, sit down. And, you know, I, I like that. Then if it's maybe if it's with my boyfriend, you know, I want to see her, you know, give him head. I like it if it's more of like a threesome situation. Just for me, just to take a girl home by myself, it's probably something I won't do. Did we? No, we did. We did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Just one. One time. Just one time. So yeah. it was like a regular thing where you're No, I mean, no. Why? When you have me. I mean, if we want to just for a night and we want to turn up, then yeah, we could, you know, we could turn up. But just on a regular, every day, nah. I mean, I definitely think there's going to always be insecurities. I think it's going to always be a problem. Like, I tell people, you know, young girls ask me about getting into porn all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. And I let them know, you know, this is something that's going to be in your life for the rest of your life. So, as far as me, I know it's going to be an insecurity issue with someone. It's just up to me to try to make them feel comfortable. And up to themselves to be able to deal with that. Because this mm -hmm. is going to be a part of my life. Whether I'm in the industry doing interviews or not at all if I become a doctor one day it's still going to be a part of my life when I die I will still be known as the woman that did porn whether I die when I'm 85 I'm still gonna be known as the woman that did porn when she was in her 20s mm -hmm. so it's gonna be a part of my life so it's just something that you know I've learned to deal with and hopefully you know my relationships people are able to deal with it themselves I'm actually in a relationship now and he knew before and it's really funny because about a week or two ago he told me I never thought I'd be dating someone I jacked off to I never thought I'd be in a relationship with someone I jacked off to so it's pretty funny but I mean no we, we don't have any issues with it and I mean it's beca probably because I'm not doing it Tell my son, man, you can't afford me, man. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna charge him for a verse, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm charging. <laughs> he got money. Dave Chappelle is a different type of animal, man. His 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 comedic talent and timing is is like no other. And I gotta honestly say, I don't I don't I can't disagree in any way, shape, or form.